Well, thanks for joining me again for another video in the series for My DIY Move. Today, we're going to talk about hiring a professional mover. Now, when you're moving interstate, which is a state-to-state -state move, choosing the right moving company can be hard. You know, according to the Better Business Bureau, most complaints stem from alleged lost or damaged items. Now, moving day is stressful enough without having your stuff arrive damaged. To avoid that, you'll want to investigate potential moving companies. Searching the internet or browsing a phone book for moving companies can be daunting and not always the best way to go. Start by asking your friends, family members, and coworkers if they can recommend a moving company. If you're working with a real estate agent, ask them for a referral. Now, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration regulates the moving industry. To verify that the carriers you are interested in have a DOT number, I have a document that by signing up or subscribing to my site and sending me an email, uh, you'll be able to verify the carriers you are interested uh, to make sure they have a DOT number. And you do that with the FMNCA. You can also do a search for a mover that you're interested in hiring with a mover search tool. Again, you can get this document at the end of the video by sending me an email and I will go ahead and forward it to you. Now, a good site that reviews moving companies can also be viewed with a link on this document I will send you, or you can use Yelp. It's a good idea to look at major van lines to get an estimate. Uh, also, there's a, a link to transport topics, top carriers for 2020, and your rights and responsibilities when you move. You will find these links on the document if you send me an email. Now, the following are the four largest moving company groups. The first one being Unigroup. Unigroup owns United and Mayflower. The second group is Serva Corporation, Serva Worldwide Relocation and Moving. They, uh, their brands are Allied, North American, and Global Van Lines. Third, uh, currently held by Atlas World Group. And the fourth major van line group is Wheaton Worldwide Moving. Uh, they also uh, have brands of Arpen, Beacons, Stevens and Clark and Reed. There are a lot of smaller van lines that I would recommend that provide great service. And as you can see by this slide, there's quite a few of them. This are just a few. Now, most reputable moving companies won't ask for a cash deposit before you move. They will require you to pay COD or cash on delivery. And if you are going to pay with a credit card, they may ask you to get an estimate amount approved before they move you. And make sure you advise your credit card company that they will be charging your move so it does not get declined. Majority of companies belong to the American Moving and Storage Association, which recently merged with the American Trucking Association and or the International Association of Movers. Make sure you ask for a business card and pull up the mover's website and then look up the listed address online through the phone book or on the internet. Make sure the moving company's address is listed and registered under the company name. Be wary of any address that might appear to be listed under a residential name. As far as estimates, I would get three estimates from these reputable moving companies. Your estimate may be based on the total weight or space and additional services such as packing, appliance servicing, storage, and etc. I recommend a binding estimate. A binding estimate guarantees that you cannot be required to pay more than the amount on the estimate. However, if you add additional items to your shipment or request additional services, you and your mover may agree to abide by the original binding estimate, negotiate a new binding estimate, or convert the binding estimate into a non-binding estimate. Now, if you are unable to pay 100% of the charges on a binding estimate, your mover may place your shipment in storage at your expense until the required charges, including the cost of storage, are paid. A non-binding estimate is intended to provide you with an approximate cost of the move. It's not a guarantee of your final cost, but it should be reasonably accurate. The estimate must indicate your final charges will be based on the actual weight of your shipment, the services provider provided in the mover's published tariff. Therefore, the amount of your mover's non-binding estimate may be different than the amount you ultimately have to pay. A non-binding estimate must be in writing and clearly describe the shipment and all services provided. With non-binding estimate, the mover may or cannot require you to pay more than 110% of the original estimate at time of delivery. This does not excuse you from paying all the charges due on your shipment, though. The mover will bill you for the remaining charges after 30 days from delivery. Valuation 
insurance, but they call it a valuation. Make sure you discuss valuation option with your sales rep. Full replacement uh, value protection is what I recommend. That's option one. Option two is the waiver of full replacement value protection. It equates to 60 cents per pound per article. An example of this co coverage is if a mover drops a 20 pound flat screen TV, they are only liable for 20, 20 pounds times 60 cents per pound or $12. So I don't recommend that. Make sure you show the estimator everything you'll be moving, including everything that needs to be packed by the mover or if you're doing the moving. It's important that nothing is missed. If you forget to tell the estimator and add it in, you'll be charged for the weight or cube, depending upon how they construct their tariffs. Now, packing. Make sure you communicate with your sales rep whether you'll be doing all the packing or you want the company to do a partial or a full pack. Be sure to advise them if you're going to need storage at destination. If the storage is going to be with the mover you are using, the liability will carry through until you deliver until your new home. The cost will also be included in the estimate. If you are having it delivered to a mini storage, there may be additional costs for delivery due to conditions of where the unit is located as well as the additional delivery charge. If you deliver to a mini storage, your valuation will terminate once it's delivered. It's very important you check for any damage to furniture or box, boxes that may be crushed or dented and make note on the inventory or your claim will most likely be denied. The reason they will deny the claim is because they will not be delivering it to your new home. The assumption will be made that you or the local company you hired created the damage. You know, the driver will inventory your furniture and boxes before he or she loads. Please confirm the damage the driver has written is there. This is considered pre-existing in origin. At destination, it's important to confirm all items on inventory have been checked off and delivered. You will need to note any new damage on the inventory. So when you file a claim, it will be covered. That is a very important part. Now when moving uh, intrastate or locally, uh, intrastate will be moving within the same state. Movers may or may not be regulated by a state organization. Depending upon the state's rules, a move may be priced based on weight or it might be hourly. Most states use weight to price on, the, on mileage over 100 miles from origin to destination. If it's, a, if it's a local move less than 100 miles, it's usually by the hour. Your search for a mover should be similar to an interstate move. States that require a, DO, uh, require a US DOT license are the, the following. I will have a document uh, breaking all this down also that'll be part of the one. If you send me an email, you'll be able to click through. For instance, California is regulated by the California Public Utilities Commission. You will be able to click that link and find out information about them and so on and so forth and every one of the other movers. So I've given you a pretty comprehensive list here. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and send an email to the email on the screen and I will send you a copy of the documents we have discussed. Thanks and see you again in the next video.